What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another A to Z of Ark and today guys we are taking a look at none other than the Desert Titan. Now this big fella obviously he is tameable so he is getting covered in the A to Z series. We're over here on Extinction, he's uh, freshly in the map now and we're going to be showing you guys pretty much what this guy does, how to beat him and uh, how to tame him. So first off guys, if you want to tame this guy, you've got a couple of things. Firstly, I would recommend bringing a Quetz if you don't have the ability to transfer Wyverns or anything like that over. If you do have the ability to transfer Wyverns over, I would definitely recommend bringing like a Lightning Wyvern over from uh, Ragnarok or Scorched Earth because they are very powerful. Very powerful against the Desert Titan. I would recommend it heavily. Um, as for everything else, you can see here we're not really taking any damage because the flock are unable to target us, which is really good. So this is why we've brought a Quetz for. Because you can bring the uh, platform saddle, build a little metal box, and you will not be able to get knocked off by the flock. You can see we've got no admin commands activated, nothing like that, nothing dodgy going on here. We do have a level 300 Quetz. But other than that, there's nothing else. So the flock are, flock are unable to target us. But now that we've got that covered, uh, you can pretty much use this guy to just go ahead and pummel into the Desert Titan for as much as you want. Do be careful of the lightning strikes though, because they can damage you. But uh, the quest is definitely a way to go about doing this. Just make sure you pump up a lot of health, uh, a lot of health and melee damage and stamina. Um, so you can take this guy and you should be fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you don't have access to a Quetz, like I said, Lightning Wyvern, even uh, a mech, if you've got access to a mech. If not, you can go about using weapons, uh, like guns and stuff like that, to try and take this guy down. It'll just take you a very, very long time. Um, and you can stand on, like, the cliff tops and actually shoot at this guy and stuff like that to kill him. Now, in order to tame this guy, it's a little bit tricky. You have to get his Lightning Bolts that he calls down. You actually have to get those to hit his corruption nodules. So he's got three corruption nodules. He's got one here. He's got one on each side of his wings. And that that's pretty much these bits here. So you need to get the lightning to hit them in order to pretty much expose them to damage. So it's very painful sometimes to get it. But you can see there we've just hit that corruption nodule with its lightning. Which means it's now available for us to attack. You'll know you're attacking it or hitting the right thing when you see one point of damage being done. So you can see there we just hit one point of damage, which is what you want to look for. You want to break all three of these corruption nodules. Now, in order to do that, like I said, you pretty much just need to hit it. Uh, you want to try and make sure that you're hitting for one damage. If not, you will need to try and go a little bit higher in order to just make sure that you're hitting the corruption nodule. Uh, I'm trying to get the right angle here. Still hitting for 284 and it's gone away. So, yeah, but the only way to get these corruption nodules to reveal themselves is to get it hit by the lightning. Now, what I would recommend as well is targeting the tail first, the tail nodule. Otherwise, you will have a bit of trouble later down the line because you will start using, uh, like, tail flip attacks and tail flapping attacks. That can damage you and uh, make targeting the tail a pain in the butt. So, you want to try and make sure that you get the tail first for the corruption nodule. Um, and it is a little bit buggy sometimes, obviously, that's Ark in general, uh, where it won't hit the corruption nodule. Well, it will, where it will hit the corruption nodule, but it won't open up the, the, the node to be attacked. So, it's a little annoying sometimes, but you can see there we just hit that one, and we're going to try and go in for another attack on it. Like I said, you want to make sure that you're hitting for one point of damage. So, you need to try and angle yourself that you hit it properly. There you go. Yeah, you can see we did hit for one, and there's another one. Um, every time his wing kind of flaps up, we can hit it a little bit. Because you don't want to deal any extra damage to him. The more damage you deal to him, the less health he will have when, you attain, when you've tamed him. So, you can see there, we're just going to sit here and, and soak this. We're not taking any damage. I don't know if it's because his attacks aren't connecting, but we're not taking any damage. So, we've got another lightning bolt coming in, so we're just going to sit on top of his wing. And we're going to fly away. And that should hopefully open up the node. It didn't open up the node. Let's try again. Um, you can use like a tech chest piece and like weaponry to, to shoot at the guy as well. That will work effectively as well. It just costs quite a bit of element. So do be careful of that. But you can see the nodules open back up again. We can attack it. We're dealing one damage. Uh, it does say one damage, but the higher the melee damage on the creature that you are using, the more effective and quicker it will take this nodule. 
Um, but you just need to make sure that you're hitting for the 1, because if you're hitting for the 284, you aren't hitting the actual nodule. And like I said earlier, it will decrease the amount of health that this dude has when he's tamed up. So make sure you're hitting that 1, and don't hit anything above that. If you are hitting the, the high damage, you want to want to try and reposition yourself to just hit the nodule. It is a little bit time consuming. It's pretty frustrating because it's just sometimes you can't get it. Sometimes you can, but there's no real clear indicator of the, the depth and stuff like that. So you got to be a bit careful. So what we're going to do now, we're going to reactivate creative mode. We're going to go for a tech rifle. Like that. And we're going to give ourselves some element to speed up this process a little bit, otherwise we're gonna be here all day. There we go, and we're gonna go with the tech chest piece as well. Chuck that bad boy on, awesome. Now, one thing you do have to be careful of if you are going to do this method is the flock will attack you. See, now they attacked him, that's weird. We're gonna whistle passive here, I wanna see what happens with him. But we're flying around now, we're gonna deactivate creative mode in just a second. Get that opened up. There we go there, you can see we're probably going to die because we do not have any other extra armor. But you can see there we're hitting for the one. So that's definitely what you want to aim for. Now, obviously we've got the, the Quets. Um, but he's not really going to be able to do much. So just make sure you dodge the lightning strikes, otherwise you will die. Like that. So you definitely do not want to mess that up. Like I said, we have no health. We're, I think we're like 100 health. We had no extra armor on us. Just wanted to show you guys how you take out the first nodule. Um, because you, you need to... That's how you tame him. That's literally the entire way you tame him. Killing him is significantly easier because you can just use a Quetz and sit on top of him and hack at him or like a Wyverns or anything like that. But we're back over here. We're going to come back. We're just going to break this first nodule. Let's grab another tech rifle. And a chest piece as well. There we go, and we'll give ourselves some more element. Done. Alright, let's chuck that on. We got that up and running. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, and you can see there we just destroyed the first nodule. So, you'll know if you destroy the nodule, because all the corruption sort of stuff will disappear on him. So, that, that took us a very long time. So, you've got to do that three times. It can be extremely tedious. Um, but if you want to take on the King Titan, it's definitely recommended and definitely needed in order to do so, otherwise you will not have any luck killing the King Titan. So you need to make sure you get that lightning strike continuously hitting the nodules, and uh, you should be good at accessing, opening up the nodules and stuff like that. But um, yeah, the tail one can sometimes be a bit glitchy where it doesn't open up. It's a pain in the butt. But if you find that being the case, just try and focus on the first two wing ones and then come back to the tail. That's generally the better bet that it'll... Uh, work off better for you because the wing ones definitely open up a lot easier than the tail one we'll uh show you when this last lightning strike comes down but that uh that took us a while to get that first nodule when you can see you didn't lose too much health so as long as you're hitting him and you're dealing the one damage you definitely can take this guy so now we're going to go over his tamed abilities because if we try and tame this guy legitimately well we're not even trying to we're not even taming it legitimately because we're in creative mode um so yeah, so we'll bring you guys back. We're going to tame this guy up and uh, yeah, we'll show you his abilities. You big ugly beast. But when you do kill him, you do get quite a few good blueprints. Um, you can see there we got some tech swords. We got a journeyman MRLM. Uh, we also got a tech helmet blueprint as well and uh, another ML MRLM. As well as some extra ammo for the mechs and stuff and elements and an apprentice ride helmet. So you definitely want to try and kill this guy. But uh, let's go over there, uh, his abilities now. Alrighty guys, so once you've tamed up your Desert Titan, he's got quite a few abilities. First off, automatically they'll get the Platform Saddle, which allows you to build on the back of the Desert Titan. Now the Desert Titan has the biggest platform area out of all of the Titans. So this will allow you to build the biggest base on the back of this guy. As well as that, you will get Artificial Gravity while standing up here, so you won't get, uh, you won't get launched off or anything like that. You can walk around normally and stuff like that, which is great. Now... Like I said, you can build on the back of these as well. Um, he does have other abilities. So if you hold down your secondary attack and you see here, you get the ability to call down lightning strikes. Now, in order to call down multiple, you can you can just keep using your secondary attack button. For mouse, it's uh, right click. 
for Xbox and PlayStation, it should be the uh, right triggers. Now you have a charge of six of these before they have to recharge up. You can see in the bottom left hand corner, that tells you how many lightning charges you've got left and how quick they're recharging. He's got a primary attack um, where if you're not looking forward, he will do a sla tail slap. Um, above himself, so anyone like on on the platform that shouldn't be there will get attacked. If you're looking straight on, he'll do a bite bite attack. Um, so you, I don't know, we'll, we'll pull it up like this. You can see that that's his biting attack. So the biting attack does deal damage as well. Um, another ability as well that he has is he has the ability to obviously spawn in the flocks. You can currently see them following us. Now, in order to do so, all you need to do is hit spacebar. Um, don't think we can do it though because we already have some. Oh, you just sort of saw there some came flying out. Uh, can we do it again so you guys can see? There you go there. It's a space bar to do that. Um, and you can actually direct these to attack targets. To do so, all you need to do is hit C. Uh, and then you need to use your primary and your secondary attack on whatever it is that you're trying to... On every, whatever it is that you want to kill. And the flocks will... Uh, flock will go down there and eat them. It's a little bit buggy and glitchy and trying to get him oh I was like that Morella tops is flying uh, let's try and there we go there you can see that we got the target acquired by the flock and oh, they just got launched up by the geyser they're gonna chase after him we're gonna get him to go after this Morella tops these guys deal really good damage so it's definitely worth using these guys to help you out if you're trying to attack stuff um, you can see that they deal some pretty decent damage. So they will attack as well um, once you command them, obviously. But you can switch back and uh, go back to attack and normally as well. Switch back to your Desert Flock and get them to attack a new target and stuff like that. So, yeah. The Desert Titan, he's not the fastest dude. But he is the one with the biggest platform saddle and he can fly. Which, obviously, it's a little bit slow. But getting around Extinction and stuff like that, it makes taming this guy up really worth it in comparison to like the other two Titans anyway. Because they are crazy slow. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all there really is to the Desert Titan, unfortunately. A um, bit of a shorter one today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. Like I said, with taming him, you just need to aim for the corruption nodules. Can be a bit glitchy, so bear with it. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.